The 21 season looks bright for Oklahoma and the 2022 recruiting class as well. We got uh, Jason Ray on the line from Last Word on College Football to break down the Sooners as he typically does. Jason, how you doing today? Doing good, Mark. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely. Good to see you as always. Uh, so there's a number of uh, interesting targets uh, that Oklahoma and Lincoln Riley and his staff are focused on. Uh, Gentry Williams may be the uh, headliner, but uh, four really good gets that Oklahoma would like to reel in. Yeah, no, absolutely. I think, that, and that's important from a, from a lead off perspective, Gentry Williams, number one athlete in the country, number 13 overall recruit in the country based on 247 composite rankings. He's a local guy in Tulsa, Booker T. Washington product. So he's been a pretty big Oklahoma lean for a while. Certainly hasn't pulled the trigger as of yet, but he would be a great get. I think, you know, if, if nothing else from the persona, I think there's a lot of, a lot of people out there that have, you know, had a little bit of, uh, you know, it's obviously nitpicking from a recruiting perspective because Oklahoma has done pretty well over the last few years. But but I think a lot of pundits, at least locally, have, have you know, got on Riley just a little bit just in terms of his inability to, to secure some of the, the big names in state. So if they're able to get that, if they're able to get Gentry Williams, I think that's a big get, not only for the state just because of how good of a player he is, number one player in, in the state of Oklahoma, obviously, but just the ability for him to, you know, Oklahoma to get some more of those in-state recruiting, in-state guys and not have them go out. You know, there's been a few that's gone to Ohio State and, um, you know, a couple of went to Alabama. So I think I think having that in, 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 his, in his back pocket is, is really good. So, you know, in terms of a couple of other ones, you know, Gabriel Brownlow, Dindy out of Lakewood, Florida is another big one. He's a defensive tackle. Again, he's very, very heavily on, on the lean to Oklahoma. Uh, Five-star defensive tackle, number three defensive tackle in the, in the country. Uh, so that's a big, big one as well. Uh, from a running back perspective, Gavin Gavin Salchuk is, is another one to keep an eye on. Number two running back in the country, number 23 overall recruit, another five-star, very heavily on, on Oklahoma's side as well. And then, you know, the last one that, that might be beneficial for for you know people to see from a, a defensive end perspective, especially thinking about Oklahoma possibly after this twenty two excuse me after this twenty twenty one season uh, losing a bit of that of, of that nucleus on the defensive end side. So um, Omari Abor, who is from Littleton, or I'm sorry, he's from Duncanville, Texas. He's another four star guy, number two strong side defensive end in the country, number forty four overall. Uh, recruit in the country again another heavy lean to Oklahoma as well you know I know it's we talked a little bit on uh, before before and it, just in terms of how things are so fluid with these with this recruits especially from 2022 these kids can change their mind um, so many times between now and then but I think it's good um, overall to see to see where Oklahoma is from a target going into that 2020 2022 recruiting period 